welcome to Red Ted Art. Today we're going to show you how to make this cute little owl pencil topper. Now I'm making this video because I had a special request on Facebook actually um, as to how to make our pencil toppers. So here I am just for you. Um, hope you're seeing this especially if you're over on Facebook make sure you come back to YouTube. So please do put requests in the um, comments because I do listen and I try and make what I can. So what you'll need is, is some conkers, some felt, some googly eyes, some big kitchen scissors, little scissors because they're easier to cut with and also a little bit of glue and of course your buckeye conkers chestnuts whatever you call them so here are some nice examples i think big ones are better um, because obviously they sit nicely on the pencil um, but you know just have an experiment and see what you can find first thing first this is for adults please or older children you need to make a really big hole the easiest way to do it is to take kitchen scissors or sharp knife but i think scissors are a bit easier to handle and a little bit safer so but but please be careful and only do this with an adult so poke it in and then just give it basically a really good twist it's almost like a pencil sharpener in there and here it's going round so now it's kind of taken a little bit off here tidy up the hole because you don't want that ripping off and let's do another little twist trying to get all that flesh out and see if it fits oh lovely look at that great fit so you do have to think about what shape and where you're going to have your owl when you're making your hole because you could have made the hole down here for example now i've made um conkers or chestnut pencil toppers before i've made a penguin in fact this looks a bit like the penguin but i'm calling it an owl this time i've made um a little bear i've made a little piggy so you know make make whatever you fancy and always think about the shape this is really good for a tummy or for a face and it could be a little nose um also remember that with conkers it's easier to glue things on this part than it is on this but more to that in a minute so the first thing i'm going to do is cut out a little beak so i get a little bit of yellow Felt's really good for this because I, I quite like the contrast of the how the felt feels, nice and soft against the smooth um, conkers. And also I like, um, you know, it's sort of got still natural element to it. Then I'm going to fold over the felt. You can also use cardboard or anything else. I'm going to cut two at the same time, two wings out. It's like a, a teardrop or a leaf shape. If you're uncertain about cutting it, you can make yourself a paper template first. Don't want to waste your felt. Or you can, like me, cut freehand. I'm actually going to cut a little bit in like that. Because it's got that kind of little feathery look to it. And it's a bit pointy up here. I did that accidentally, but actually I think that looks quite nice. I've got my little feathers. Now I need some orange felt for the feet. And again, I'm going to just fold it over and do two at the same time. So I cut off, put that over here, like so. And then cut out, it's a little bit like a heart shape, this one, sort of to kind of indicate toes. There we go. And again, it doesn't have to be super accurate. And then there's sort of a little bit flat. Right, now let's get gluing. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to roughen up the sides. This is so that the feathers have some hold on this smooth conker. I think with with the felt, oh, sorry, I think with felt you're um, probably okay if you don't roughen it up too much because felt is quite good about sticking to, um, to, to glue and stuff. But I think the roughening up does help, especially if you're using other materials. Like I've used um, craft foam before, and that's really smooth. And the smooth on smooth surface just meant things fall off, especially with things like googly eyes as well. They can fall off if you're not careful. Right, so I've roughened it up, ready for my glue. Get all those little bits out of the way. Got my glue. Now I use a craft stick. This is really good uh, tacky glue called Anita's Tacky Glue. I really like it. I think it's amazing. I've not been paid to say it, but I do think it's really good. And I can pop some links in the comments if you want me to. So I'm going to put some glue here, and glue here, glue here, and glue here. Oh, look at that, all around. But this really is so easy. So for example, you can get the this bit ready for your children if they're younger, and they can then help with the gluing. Put one wing on, 
Actually, let's put the feet on first so the glue wing doesn't come okay. into the glue. Then you put the other foot like so. And then the only thing that's missing is the googly eyes. Now I've got some self-adhesive googly eyes here. Normal googly eyes are fine. I really peeled the back off because it was so fiddly. I think normal ones are actually a bit better. I think we'll find the self-adhesive ones don't actually stick so well. So although I'm using self-adhesive glue, I am actually also going to use a bit of extra glue. Sorry, self-adhesive googly eyes. And there you have a very cute little horse chestnut owl pencil topper. Now I hope you um, like these and that you will have a go and don't forget to subscribe to Red Ted Art.